came pretty close to uh, biting the dust in 2023. I quit my job. I got married. I had my strangest backpacking trip ever. I've decided that I'm just gonna give some stuff away. 2023 has been a truly wild year for me. And I wanted to give just a little bit of an update and kind of a run through of some of the big obstacles and lessons that I've gone through this year. Earlier this year, I had an experience that I didn't really publicize or talk about, but it was actually pretty scary. Earlier this year, I was backpacking in Montana when I was camping in an area that had quite a bit of ticks around. And I actually found one that had nestled into my skin. Don't really know exactly how long it had been there. Christy was able to remove the tick and kind of thought that everything was gonna be fine. However, about three days later, I started feeling really, really sick. Didn't necessarily put it together because I thought that the tick hadn't really truly embedded very deep. And I didn't really think that it was that big of a deal. I actually kind of thought that I had COVID for a while and about six, seven days after I had been just strangely sick, my body ached, I had so much pain, I couldn't move without like extreme fatigue and exhaustion that uh, my now wife, Christy, started to get really scared for me and made some calls, called up my uncle who's actually a doctor. My uncle was actually like, he needs to be on prescription medication ASAP, like right now, because this is super serious. He's got a tick disease. It turns out that after eight days of going untreated, this tick disease that I had, which is called rickettsia, is actually lethal in a shocking number of cases, like something like a 20% fatality rate. And I was basically like 20 hours away from that window where this becomes a fatal disease. At the time, I was in a super random part of North Dakota, was able to get some uh, prescription drugs, some antibiotics, and was able to eventually make a full recovery. But I had about a month where I was sluggish and tired and really couldn't move like I was used to. I guess I talked about it a little bit, but not a lot. So most of you don't know that actually, I came, I came pretty close to uh, bite in the dust in 2023 and with, with a scary disease. Even if it wasn't a fatal disease, it's the type of disease that actually can have some long lasting health effects where your muscles never quite recover. You never really regain your ability to have full respiratory abilities. And that was super scary for me. And super scary for Christy, uh, who took excellent care of me and made sure that I made a full recovery. So I've started editing this video and I realized that I have said the word actually way too many times. And normally I try to edit out my ticks. Uh, and this one, I thought that, well, let's take advantage of it. I've got a deal for you. I've decided that I'm just gonna give some stuff away. And uh, maybe it's, you know, my holiday spirit in my heart, or really that I just have too much stuff piling up in my gear garage and in my gear shed. And let's take advantage, let's give some stuff away. This is a little bit of a bribe to watch this video, but if you can successfully identify how many times I say the word actually in this video, I will give one of you this brand new Neo Air X-Therm mattress from Thermarest. It's a 4.2 R value sleeping mattress. Brand new, not even opened out of the box. I'm gonna send this to somebody. And for one other person, you know what? I thought I'm gonna send you a almost brand new Gregory Baltoro backpack. Now this is a men's pack. So we'll tell you what, if a lady out there correctly identifies it, I'll come up with uh, something that would be suitable, whether it's not another air mattress, a sleeping bag, or something that is gonna be a good prize for a lady, but two prizes. So that ain't bad, that ain't bad. Technically I have used that backpack, but not a lot. It's uh, pretty clean and almost brand new. So if you wanna win, you have to say how many times I say the word actually in this video, put it in a comment and uh, I'll select a couple winners and send you some free stuff. All right, how about that? And that is now my excuse to just not care about how many times I use that word. All right, back to the video. 2023 was a big year for many reasons, not just because I almost died, but uh, I also made a huge step in two areas of my life, professional and personal. 
So on a professional level, I quit my job. I left my long-standing job that I'd had with Heliconia. I had hosted Epic Trails for six years and had loved it so much. It truly was a dream job. It changed my life in so many ways. And stepping away from that was really scary and really hard for me. The biggest thing that was hard for me was it was a good gig. I didn't want to leave a good job and really feel like I regretted the decision. So I labored over this decision. But there was a lot of things around the creative direction of the company, the creative direction of the show. Some of it was money related, but ultimately I just needed to make a decision to go strike off on my own. I have now committed myself to full-time YouTube. And honestly, six months in, five, six months in, it has gone really well. And I've been so excited to see the response, the health of the channel, the growth of the channel here, as well as some of the business opportunities that have come along that have actually surprised me with how fast some of those things have happened. So I gotta give a shout out and a thank you to you all for being here, for watching these videos and helping to make this possible and make this a really exciting year for me. And of course, on a personal level, a major note of news is that I got married. Got engaged a year ago, and then we finally tied the knot and got officially married in September, at the end of September. And it's just been an amazing year for me in so many levels, and that is obviously the biggest, the most sweet, the most rewarding. Just got back from our honeymoon in Kauai, Hawaii, and just had an amazing time. So part of why I haven't been as active on here lately is just because I've been, you know, kind of taking some personal time to just be married and enjoy that sweet married life. Another reason why 2023 was a big year is that I had my strangest backpacking trip ever. The most eventful backpacking trip by far that I've ever gone on. In kind of been a much publicized backpacking trip, I went on a rim to rim to rim backpacking trip with Dan Becker that ended nearly catastrophically. First off, Dan had to be rescued from the North Rim in the winter in a really remote place. I genuinely thought that maybe I was gonna lose my buddy Dan to a health concern. I thought it was a heart attack at the time. Turned out to be rhabdo, rhabdomyolysis, which is a liver disease that's actually super serious. And Dan had this really big, scary health concern while backpacking with me, and it was genuinely terrifying. Being on a trip in a remote place where you have a health emergency is really scary and nobody ever wants to go through that. And I'm thankful that I've had training and I've had uh, other experiences that I felt prepared for and felt like I did the best I could and really ultimately feel proud of how the whole team that I was with, Jake and Emmett, Dan was able to get evacuated quickly and taken to emergency care in Kanab, Utah, where he had a recovery that took actually a couple of months himself and has had some ongoing health issues that has popped up in his life. So being at the center of that was, was not fun and was scary and was emotionally taxing and so draining. And of course, what has also been highly publicized is the legal battle that ensued after this backpacking trip where I was brought, uh, had criminal charges brought against me for camping illegally in the Grand Canyon, where I was really just out of bounds by a couple hundred yards, did make what I thought was an honest mistake at the time, and camped outside of our permitted area, but had thought that I was doing what the ranger had asked. It turns out that the federal government wanted to make an example out of me and brought charges. I had to go to court for four different times about this thing, and it had lasted months and months and months. And ultimately, I got booked. I uh, had to get fingerprinted. I'm in the criminal justice system. And if you're interested in seeing that video, it's gotten a bunch of attention this year, but make sure you check that one out because that is a whole story that is worth watching. And to do it, truly do it justice, you need to go watch that video. I have dedicated a lot of my life to feeling like I'm trying to help instill good practices in other hikers, other campers, educating people, giving people tools and resources to get out there to go backpacking, and to feel like on some level I 
was being treated like somebody who really was trying to take advantage of the system, really be um, somebody who was maybe celebrating bad activities or bad behavior um, within the national park was was surprising and pretty frustrating for me. I feel like I've tried to be a good steward of our wild spaces, our national parks, our public lands, and uh, yeah, but ultimately I've had to learn a lot of lessons, some hard lessons myself. Ultimately that whole trip, the Grand Canyon trip in itself was a lesson in risk assessment, in decision making. You know, I think I I overestimated what our group was capable of, decisions on choosing an itinerary that is ultimately just too aggressive for us. And that was the reason really that Dan had the, uh, the scare that he did was, you know, being from Wisconsin, not spending enough time at altitude, even though he was physically capable of hiking the mileages that we were doing, uh, the conditions were just tough. You know, it was winter, there was a ton of snow on the ground, and this all happened at about 8,000 feet. And at that elevation, that really just, I think, pushed Dan over the edge. And I think that I needed to really do a better job of just making sure that everybody in our party was not pushed to their, to their limits and not putting people in that situation. So I've had a lot of learning moments for me as a backpacker, as a hiker, as a trip leader, uh, as a business owner, as a husband, uh, so many things have, have come up for me, but ultimately it's been just such a sweet and satisfying year. These changes, ultimately I celebrate and I'm really excited about what's coming, which leads me to 2024. I'm so excited to give my full heart and soul into YouTube to keep creating, to keep making cool and interesting backpacking videos and travel videos and to just push myself creatively to see where this goes and to keep interacting with you. There's been such a fun engagement with you all here on my channel and I love it. I love the comments, the questions, the ability to just interact and vibe with you all is such a sweet part of what YouTube is. So thank you. Um, I know that there are some things that I wanna do in the coming year with gear giveaways and just other interactive experiences. And one of those interactive experiences is available right now. And that is to go on a, a pretty epic travel trip with me to Peru. So I am hosting a trip to Peru where we're going to trek the Salcante Trail, which is one of the classics of Peru. It's a big four day mission through the mountains of the Andes to ultimately end at Machu Picchu. We're doing this at the end of April and into May and actually right now, for the next like two weeks through December 31st, I'm offering a little bit of a holiday discount. So for four people, you can save a hundred bucks on the trip. If travel is something that you wanna do, if international trekking is something that you wanna do, but you're just kind of a little bit tentative to go do it on your own and kind of take those risks as a solo traveler, then this is the perfect thing. And there's actually already a group that we're confirmed we're going. I know a bunch of the people who are already on this trip. A bunch of them have traveled with me in Iceland about a year and a half ago. We just had such an amazing time that all these people have signed up to go again. And this is actually gonna be a little bit bigger of a trip. So there's room for about 20 travelers total and I think 10 or 11 spots have already been filled. And I would love to go travel with you. So if that is something that's interesting to you, make sure that you follow the link below as I definitely would love to see you out in Peru doing a pretty epic expedition. Other goals that I have for 2024 are just to keep traveling, to keep pushing my own boundaries, my own growth. A trip that I have coming up in a couple weeks, really, well, in about a month, I'm gonna be going off to Colorado for a solo winter camping mission where uh, it's been a while since I've done some pretty cold, cold, cold camping. And I'm looking to get up into the San Juans and test some new gear uh, to try some really hardcore winter gear at uh, potentially just some challenging winter elevations up around nine, 10,000 feet in the San Juans. And I would love to hear from you on what you all wanna see, uh, what kinds of gear you want me to dive into and uh, really tackle topics to tackle. So please chime in with comments below. 
Uh, anything that you want to hear about, I'd love to hear from you and give me some ideas for content or gear or whatever it might be that you're looking for uh, in the next year from me. I'm really excited about the holiday season to spend time with family and I hope that you all have a wonderful end to your year. So thanks so much for watching. It is with deep felt gratitude that I say thank you and uh, have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your 2023. See you later, everybody.